Hello everybody, welcome back to more Banjo-Tooie. Last time we made our way past uh, World 5, Pterodactyl Land, had a lot of fun doing that. And we finished up everything we can do there for now. So we're going to be heading off to World 6 in this episode, but first there are a couple things we need to do. So first up is, well, <laughs> there are, is a new cheat we can get from Cheeto now that we have a couple more pages for him. We were able to sequence break one of those pages uh, over in Pterodactyl Land, so we're going to use that to our advantage and get one of the cheats early. And this next cheat is a very, very good one. You're definitely going to want. Uh, you're definitely going to want this. It's quite helpful. Hey, Cheeto. Great, you've got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time. Spill the beans. Hand over my precious pages first. Much obliged. My third cheat is fall proof. Got it? Well, that's all the cheats I can give you for now. If you find any more pages, you know where to find me. This is a menu of the codes I have told you. So we had feathers, then eggs, and now our new code is fall proof. Which, you can probably tell what that does, just based on the name. Alright, we're here in the code chamber, so our next code that we're going to enter is Fallproof. That's F, not R. That's not how you spell one of my cheats. I'm afraid you'll have to start from the first letter again. Analog stick is wonky at times. F-A-L, L, and P, R. Just get out of here, you stupid mommy. Oh, oh, and then where's the F? Oh, that's right. I already hit it. <clears throat> the fallproof cheat will keep you from being hurt in long falls. So that completely disables fall damage, which you can already do using that uh, ground pound off the cliff attack, but you can't do the ground pound off the cliff attack if you're just Banjo or just Kazooie. Plus, it's just nice to have in case you unexpectedly fall or get knocked off a cliff. So yeah, we're gonna equip that. It's a pretty good cheat, but I don't think it's broken. It's more just convenient rather than anything else. It doesn't break the game like the next uh, <laughs> the next cheat that you get. The next cheat that you get is so overpowered that uh, I actually will not equip it. <laughs> but I will still try to get it. Another thing that we're going to do is... We've had fun with Dragon Kazooie, but I'm going to go back to regular Kazooie. I like the regular Kazooie sounds better, and... I don't know. Dragon Kazooie's fun, but I feel like regular Kazooie fits the overall feel of the game a little better. And plus, Dragon Kazooie's not all that powerful. I don't really use Fire Eggs all that much. Although her breath attack can be nice at times. Anyhow. Now that we learned the Springy Step Shoes move from Pterodactyl Land, we can enter the final part of the ILO Hags. There's only one more area left. And you'll remember there's this giant cliff up here that we couldn't get up. Well, now that we've unlocked the special Springy Step Shoes, we have no problem with this anymore. Bounce on up! And here we reach the end of the Isle of Hags. Welcome to the Quagmire. It's a polluted little area. Anyhow, here's the last silo that we have to open up. Easy peasy. And here is World 6, Grunty Industries. It's a very infamous world in this game. It's widely regarded as the worst, most difficult and annoying world in the whole game. I personally disagree. I actually really like this world. But we'll get into that when we actually reach inside. If we climb up here, there's a Jinjo. Actually, surprise, it's a Minjo. This is the first example of a Minjo that's actually in a hard to reach place. So now the Minjos can actually really catch you off guard. You can't just go based off of... <laughs> oh, hey, it's just kind of lying out in the open. It's probably a Minjo. Uh, you don't know that for sure anymore. There's some boots over there that we can't do anything with. 
And I believe that's it. That's all we can explore here in the quagmire. So, having said that, it's time to open up World 6. It is written that 28 jiggies are required to open this door. You have enough jiggies to attempt my challenge. Do you wish to warp to the sacred temple? Yes, please. Puzzle pieces are missing, but it's still easy. So as you can see, we're heading off to a factory-themed world. It's definitely not as fun as Frantic Factory from uh, Donkey Kong 64. But I think that this is a really, really well done world, all things considered. I get why people hate it. But I'll get into why I love it when we actually reach there. I will say, this is, this is probably the largest... No, this is not probably. This is definitely the largest world in the game. So that's part of the difficulty. But it's, it's a really cool world. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 6, so now the Great One will show you the way. Mighty Jiggy Wiggy. And the way is open for us. Indeed, the chosen one. You also have enough jiggies to attempt jiggy wiggy. Wait, I didn't get to say that. Come back. I can open at least the next two worlds. Anyhow, time to head to the quagmire and enter world five, which is not world five, world six, which is indeed one doozy of a world. But I really like it. All right, folks, here we are. We're about to enter the largest and most intimidating level in the whole game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Grunty Industries. So, yeah, this level is a giant factory, and as you can see, it is massive. And it is much bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. I'm just here to tell you that. So, yeah, it's a giant multi-leveled factory that is... Many people find extremely confusing and extremely intimidating, and it takes a lot to be able to break through a lot of the uh, defenses this level has. <laughs> these are the main enemies, these factory workers will try to beat us with wrenches. They're pretty easy. And as you can see, Grunty is not really accommodating to us, and the main entrance is completely shut, and there's no way to get through that. Yeah. We're already at an uphill battle. It takes a while to be able to crack the defenses of this place. But, if you'll notice, there is a crack up here. So we can shimmy jimmy our way over here. Into a hover. We also could have gone on the toxic waste barrels over here and then climbed on this wall. But, reaching the health and doing the flutter that way also works. We can break these windows with our grenade eggs, but we have no way of actually reaching that high, so... That, that's unfortunately a dead end. Here's the train switch for the level. That's gonna open up the doors over in the train station, which is inside the factory. But we have no way of actually reaching the train station from here. I also love the music in this world. It's gloomy, but it, it fits very well. Short on battery power? 
Try looking here. One, above the world entry and exit. Two, floor two, guarded by the tin tops. Three, floor two, near the electromagnet chamber. Door. Four, floor three, near Mumbo's skull. So that's hinting towards one of the gimmicks of the level. There are going to be batteries that we need to watch out for. Also, if you step into the toxic goo, the little green monster will bite you. So yeah, you can see there's a battery up, up here. We can stun it, but other than that, we can't really do anything with it right now. But we'll just keep our eyes out for them, because we will need them on the level. There's another window up there. I'm gonna break windows when I can see them, because, you know, I don't like Grunty. <laughs> Or we can take some damage and reach the pipe over here. Doesn't seem to lead anywhere, though. And there's also a wall over there, which prevents us from going further. So, as we can see, we're just, we're kind of stuck. There's no real way to actually go inside of the factory right now. And even if we uh, t intentionally damage boost to get through the swamp, it's not going to lead anywhere that lets us get inside. <laughs> It's a pretty big issue. And so you might be scratching your head wondering, well, how the heck are you even supposed to get inside the factory? And a lot of people will just skip this world and go right to the next one. Well, think about it. We're locked out from the outside, and there's only one way, that, only one link we've established inside the factory, and that is the train station. That's right, we have to go to another world Call Chuffy and then take Chuffy over into Grunty Industries, and that's the only way to actually break into the factory. A lot of people hate that puzzle and think it's ridiculously frustrating and not cool. I think it's one of the best puzzles in the game. <laughs> you really need to think outside of the box for this, and honestly, that's kind of the way for the whole world. Well, easiest way is we're going to go to the clifftop and take the train from the ILO Hags into Grunty Industries. Yeah, this world is filled with a lot of, like, genuine puzzles, honestly. Things that require you to think outside the box and, uh, <laughs> figure out different ways to navigate through the world. And I, that's one of the things I really like about this world. It really sets it apart from the others. And yeah, it is difficult, no doubt about it, but I think it's, I think it's on the whole a pretty good difficult. There are a couple of very frustrating things in here that I don't like, but they're few and far between. Chuffy is viewing the cave paintings in Pterodactyl Land. Would you like Chuffy to pick you up? Yes, please. Come here, Chuffy. I also apologize if you can hear weed whackers outside. People in my condo complex have been just doing the lawn all day, and I don't really have very many opportunities to record, so... I tried to do it at a time where it would be quieter than the rest, but you're probably still gonna hear the humming of weed whackers in the background, so I'm, I apologize for that. Here comes Chuffy. So one of, the, one of the reasons that people don't like this world, but I do like the world, is that it takes a very long time to explore the whole thing, and we're gonna just see... Again, having to take the train station just to get inside the world, that's just the tip of the iceberg for how well guarded it is. Let's go to Grunny Industries. And it's because of this, this is one of the few reasons why it actually is necessary to defeat Old King Cole in the game. I mentioned Old King Cole is one of only two bosses that was required to beat the game. It's because of this. You need to defeat Old King Cole to use Chuffy, and you need to use Chuffy in order to get into Grunty Industries. And there's at least one move that we learn in here that is required in order to beat the game. I do not think you can reach the final world without it. Maybe by using glitches. Anyhow, we have arrived. Uh, where's the freaking exit? It's too dark in here. There we go. Wow. That literally, it was just pure black. I couldn't see anything. Alright, so we're here in the train station, and there are these toxic goo enemies. If we break open their barrels, they can drop toxic gas behind, which can quickly deplete your air meter and cause you to take a lot of damage. So just be on the lookout for that. Two ratatat wraps will destroy them, though.
There we go. Remember, rare rare crates can be broken open. With that we can land on the rafters. We're just gonna shimmy across, I think that's safer. And bada beam bada boom, there's a hollow honeycomb piece up here. Alert! Intruders detected! Activate the Tin Tops! So these enemies here are the Tin Tops. Well, they are electric enemies, and they can be difficult to defeat. Generally speaking, Wonder Wing and Vulnerability is the safest and easiest way to deal with them. However, they oftentimes will just kind of keep on spawning. Another way to defeat them is by using grenade eggs but only when they're actually open. And even then, it can be hard to aim. Yeah, they just keep on respawning, so there's not much point in going after them. I recommend just trying to avoid them if at all possible. Pick up the few bundles of notes in here, and then we'll get out of here. Floor one. So yeah, there are many floors in this area, and we're just on the first one. Take that. Service elevator? Well, this'll be useful. Access denied. The service elevator can be used by mechanical personnel only. So, yeah, we actually can't use the service elevator. Workers' quarters? Let's head on down here and see what's up.